Hello. This video demonstrates how the locator spy on Silk4Net can help you to change the locator string that is used to identify an object in your AUT. I have already opened Silk4Net and I have created a new project called TestSpy. I'm going to record a new Silk4Net test against the insurance comp sample application. I call my new test failed login. I select website test configuration and I want to start a new instance of Internet Explorer with a sample application. The sample application and the recording window display. I want to verify that if I click login without entering an email address, the error message please enter your email will display. I click login, the error message displays. I move the mouse cursor over the error message and click Ctrl and Alt to verify. In the Verify Properties dialog box, I check the text attribute. I click Stop Recording in the Recording window. In the recorded script, I can see an R equal command that verifies the text. I open the recorded object map by right clicking on an object map element in the script and selecting Open Silk4Net Asset. The selected object is highlighted in the object map. I can see that the locator uses the text contents attribute of the object. I want to use another attribute to verify that the object with the text is displayed. So I select the locator in the object map and I click Update Locator. The locator spy opens in my test application. I move the mouse cursor over the error message and then I click Ctrl and Alt. The DOM element that is selected does not have any attribute that I can use to change the locator. So I select the parent object of the DOM element. The locator field in the top of the locator spy now displays the locators for this object. This object has a class attribute which I want to use for the locator. I validate the new locator to see if it identifies the correct item in the UI. And then I click Paste Locator to Editor. Then I click Close to close the locator spy. Now in my object map I have a new locator. I save the object map. And then I run my script with the new locator. I can see that the script passes, which means that the verification is also passed. And this concludes my demonstration. Thank you for watching.